So, no heat in the winter is no fun at all, and uh, I'm trying to make this video for moms and uh, family that uh, have wind stars, most likely, and uh, they're usually on a budget, and uh, they can save a lot of dough by doing this themselves, so they can have heat and their kids can have heat, and back on the road you go. So let's get on uh, changing that out. So first thing we need to do down here by the, like, the pedals for the brakes and all that stuff and the accelerator is take out those two uh, retainers right there. They call them blind rivets, but they're just a uh, regular Phillips head. And take those out. There's two on this side and two on the other side. So these ones are already sticking out so I can put a little cat claw behind there. And the whole thing comes out like that. So if they are in all the way like this, you just take a Phillips screwdriver, don't put too much pressure on it, and loosen it. Make sure this part doesn't turn. Just a little bit like that. And then it'll be sticking out. You get a flat head or a cat claw like this behind it. it falls right out. Alright, once you got those scrivets out each side, open the door up, grab from the top here, and pull out. You can see there's a retainer right there. Let me focus up a little bit here. And one right there that hold it in. This one slid out quite easily. After that, close it back up. Pull it out a little more, and then you can turn it and get it out of here. Put that away somewhere else. Next thing you got to do is pull the radio out. Um, it does take a special tool to get it out, but you can do it yourself with a heavy duty coat hanger. You probably have that around the house, and I got another video and shows you how to do use those to uh, pull the radio out in case you don't want to go to the auto parts store to get this special tool. Not all this, the stores have them. So go ahead and pull the radio out. Slide it out. Alright. Push it out like that. And pull. After that you can pull your tool out. Slides right out after that. And then you have a connector or two here. They're quick release. Alright, so now you can see coming through the radio slot right here, the hole, we can get to a couple of the top screws for the actuator, and then we pulled from down below there that storage bin. That allows us to get to the other actuator uh, bolts down below. So it's a little on top, a little on bottom. And you can see it straight back in there. It's going to be three bolts. One up here, two down below, and one electrical connector. So yank those out. I'll show you how to test that door in there to make sure it's not broken or binding so we don't ruin your new uh, actuator also. Alright, so the bolts are 8mm and uh, what works best is a little quarter inch ratchet and an 8mm socket. And you can get to this one and take it out. And then, for the other ones, take you backstage here for backstage access. Let's see. There it is, right start pulling it out. That's one of the lower ones. Here's my hand down here. And uh, working through where that storage compartment used to be. I'm still in the driver's seat. Just reach my hand through there, push the ashtray out from the back side here, slide it out a little bit, and then you'll get your hand in here, and you can get to all these bolts without even laying on the ground. It's a little hard looking through the camera here, but you can see what I'm doing. these three bolts we'll deal with that electrical connector over here that white one right there we'll deal with that and uh, 
once this last bolt is out. After that, it just slides right out like that. And you can press this tang in and then pull and it'll come out. Whoa, no bright. That's the old one. Not that hard, was it? Now, while it's not totally necessary, it's a good idea to take the old actuator apart. And uh, these little tangs right here, they're all over. Let's pry them up. Get, get this cover off of there. It's all garbage anyways. But this one, you could see, it was actually the bigger gear. You see there's teeth missing from right there. Whoa. Right there, you see a teeth missing. Usually it's this smaller gear that breaks. So anyways, that's nice to know and all, but take this actual wiper arm piece out right here. This is what actually turns the door in there. And uh, we're going to stick that back into there. And we're going to turn it by hand to make sure it uh, turns freely in there. It doesn't bind or anything like that. Alright, so working through that storage compartment area down there on the other hand take your gear and stick in that same slot and then turn it and it's gonna feel a little heavy but it should be smooth full travel smooth and then when you go up and you let go it falls no sweat just like that the earlier wind starts had door problems but I say anything since 2000 I haven't really seen and the issue with the door is just the actuator failing over time because of the plastic gears. So this check is optional. Do it if you want. And uh, let's get the actuator back in there. Get some heat going. Alright, so same thing. Working through that compartment down in there. Door is keyed. So find it. And it should slide right in. And then you can line up all these bolt holes. And there's little retainers on there to hold it in place. And then we can connect the electrical connector back up until it snaps like that. And then we can go ahead and put these bolts back in. Okay, so go ahead and get all three bolts back in there. The electrical connector connected back up and snapped into place. And then uh, just tighten them up till they're snug. Don't need to go any further than that. Let's pop that radio back in. All right, make sure all your connectors are back in. Snap back in place. Antenna, don't forget that. And then uh, it's got a little track in there it slides back into. You'll know what's in it when it slides in very easy like that. And then you just push it in all the way. And you'll hear it snap in like that. We know that's all secure then. Let's get to that bin. Alright, slide that bin back in and then uh, these screws, scrivets, whatever you want to call them, go back in there just like that and then you just push them back in. Just like that. Alright, so let's try her out. You should be able to hear something moving back there, but not clicking. So that's a good sign. And then, uh, obviously, you want to get your car hot, you know, full operating temperature so that you can um, make sure it has heat. And then you can go full cold and get you know outside temperature ambient temperature you'll know it move back to the cold fully and you can do a full test on it so this one is fixed and I'm sure yours is too if you had this issue and uh, I hope you have heat again and all that stuff fully functional van for your family trips and holiday travel